This is the Epic microcell. We're going to walk you through the, each component of this product and show you how to install it. The first thing that we have on the bottom is our positive wire. This is what provides power to the cell and this will be attached to the battery so it's direct power and we'll show you how to do that. On top is where you attach the negative ground wire and this has to be attached to a place in the engine that will provide a grounding and we'll show you how to do that uh, further in the installation. This is our outlet hydrogen hose. Well, this is what actually carries that micro hydrogen into the air intake manifold and it just attaches right here, screws in, and we'll show you how this attaches to the engine. This is our uh, high performance air filter. It goes on the opposite end of the hydrogen outlet hose and it just screws right in here. We have two mounting brackets. This mounting bracket attaches to the top of the unit and you can mount this anywhere in the engine compartment, typically on the firewall. The other mounting bracket is a side mounting bracket, which is uh, you slip this on to the side of the unit and it just allows you more flexibility in the mounting process. When you use the mounting brackets, you either use the L-shaped bracket or the side bracket. You don't need to use both. This uh, is your vacuum interface, and this comes in your kit. So it's uh, a dual barbed piece. The hydrogen hose is on this side, and this is the piece that would interface into your vacuum port. This is another piece you'll, you'll get. This is a T-barb. If you find a vacuum hose that you think will work, you can just cut it, put the T in, and then attach our blue vacuum line here, and that'll complete your installation. For this particular installation, this is on a BMW, we chose the top mounting bracket and we're going to mount it right to the inside of the engine and Mark, our technician, is just going to tighten it down and you can see how it is uh, right there. So we have a pre-drilled hole because uh, we've identified the brake booster as the best vacuum port on this BMW. There's different vacuum ports that you could put the product into on the engine and you just have to find the best one. In this particular instance, it happens to be the brake booster line. It's important to identify which vacuum port you want to, you want to use. On this particular model, we're using the brake booster line because that provides the best vacuum for us. So this piece here interfaces into the brake booster line, and you can see it right here. Before you finish your installation, you have to use a vacuum gauge, and all you do is you put the vacuum gauge over your identified vacuum port connection, start the engine, make sure there's vacuum. You also have to accelerate and make sure the vacuum doesn't drop. If the vacuum drops when you accelerate, you have to find another vacuum port. Mark is now mounting the high performance filter onto the front. We're now mounting the ground wire, the wire, the black wire that's on the top to a point in the engine that will uh, act as a ground for the unit. Mark is now mounting the positive wire to the battery post. On this particular car, the battery is in the back, but the positive post for the battery is in the front. So we just attach the positive red wire to the battery post and that completes your installation. So this is typically what a, a final installation would look like. Uh, again, this is a BMW 740, but top mounting bracket, you have your ground wire here and your positive wire to the battery that allows you, uh, that allows the power and your vacuum hose here. This whole installation should take about 30 minutes.